Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles and welcome to Miami. Today we are bringing you something you have been waiting and asking us for for a while. We're on board of a unique and very interesting yacht. Welcome aboard Palm Beach GT50 by GB Marine Group. Come hey, on up. Well, stepping on the swim platform. We felt like we kind of knew what Palm Beach was all about, but I just learned a whole bunch of stuff that Same here. we didn't know. It was like on our list here to tour it. Now I'm like super excited because it's even cooler than we actually initially thought. Yeah, can we borrow one? I know, right? We just would like secondary boat so we snooped around a little bit yes, already we did we do know some stuff because we wanted to give you guys like you know a yeah. full immediately info. immediately Go. when you step on board i know the teak feels so nice. so nice i mean it's just so smooth and beautiful everything we have seen looks so well finished just so you guys know gb marine group which is basically comprises of grand banks palm beach and east bay has been around for 70 years mm -hmm. so it's a long standing brand with a really great reputation obviously for a reason they built great boats so i'm excited to our first one to bring to the channel and we will tell you why this is so great so what do you think the style of a boat is well that's the interesting part because i just asked the marketing manager to kind of give us i'm like this is not a down east because a it goes like 40 knots you know it kind of looks like it and he said like yeah we kind of have a hard time defining I mean, it as well just design wise i think it is a mixture a little bit of a down east lobster boat and like a performance and, and a performance boat, boat with like some kind of italian influence i know I mean, it just looks super slick we're just gonna say it's a fusion <laughs> it's a fusion boat and that's what i think a lot of people love about it because it still has that super slick look it's very sexy lines and it has you know the luxury features and the comfort of you know the that, I, I, that you I, all I, love I so agree. come in Anyways, we're boarding on a very large swim platform, okay, which fine. is a Don't solid swim step. Yes. With all the cleats on the very end of it. Do you see how they've actually ran this all the way? I like that. You know, so they didn't look, just do a little corners. The, the rub rail. Yeah, yeah, they went all the way and just finished it that way. And it's also a very thick material. It's not thin and hollow. Yeah, exactly. Same like these little shaving protections here for the dock lines it's just so cool and then we have pop-up cleats all along on the side oh those are pop-up yep got it right here pretty cool this one has the carbon fiber poles here yeah for the sunshade which makes like super nice big shaded covered space here as we're walking in the drain with the 50 logo on there just little details so cool i love it he's pretty in love, love with it. it he's like i want it to be a secondary boat it's so great we have a sitting area here you know nice and luxurious of course you can put up a nice folding table here and hang out i immediately thought this was an engine access right yep me too and that was a huge surprise well first of all let's open it big hatch and this of course <laughs> you know why not finishing your storage area with teak as well i mean that's really? definitely a first i don't know if i've ever seen it before anyways good amount of storage below no the floor. engines here because the engines are midship and rico immediately said so how does technically they're midship forward yes he's like how does that work this boat has volvo ips 800s yep and immediately he was like well wait a minute like how do you mount the engines forward and he was like yeah well you know we have a carbon fiber drive shaft which goes all the way back to the pods and then the pods sitting all the way aft in the corners where you would expect them. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. The reason for it is obviously keeping center of gravity in you know, the middle of the boat, keeping the center of buoyancy in the middle of the boat. And also the whole balance of the boat in terms of 
you know, rising up the bow when you're kind of like trying to get up on the step. It doesn't just do that. It's going to be so much easier because the weight is forward. That's where you want to have it, right? So you get the nose down and get the quick up on the step. All right, you got so, your camera time. You guys keep saying you want to see more of Rico. So that was the co-star's appearance. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Just leave no, it the no, way take it is. the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on this side. I mean, of course, you have your shore power. Nicely protected here. This is our, you know, exterior entertainment bar galley area we have an uh, electric grill Kenyan electric grill a sink ice maker a bit of storage and oh, check this cool. out all the glassware that's right here and it's perfectly set up that's all part of the package cool. and there's a drink fridge right Perfect. there there's some good beer in there wow this is serious it's like a workout you just open this up like <laughs> 10 times a day and you've got your workout and you've got a little bit of storage here as yeah. well all right shall we go forward yes okay let's do this I'm really interested in how the walk is forward, actually. This is it's a very, very, comfy. very comfortable. It's more comfortable than I thought it would be when I saw the model, how slick it was. Yeah. I'm just going to point out that there's no glass here yes. because it's retractable. And this is like the perfect Miami, Miami like for Bay Lauderdale, cruiser, like yeah. in a coastal cruiser. Go to Bimini. Like, this is freaking awesome. Okay, don't look. Let's go forward. The whole of the boat is an infused composite, fiberglass, mm -hmm. and everything up on top is a infused carbon fiber material. So it keeps the boat light, keeps it less top heavy, which obviously there's not even a flybridge, so it's not that top heavy in the first place, but also gets you the performance. It's a fairly light boat. I mean, 40 knots top speed is pretty fast. And the whole composite is also vinyl, right? Yeah. This is something Rico was totally geeking out about. So I'm going to let him show you. We've never seen anything like this. Look, also, look how slick it is. Well, let's just talk about it. There is no anchor There's there. There's no anchor. There's the anchor. Oh, and how man. does that work? Work. This is, this so is there's amazing. the lock right there that we left unlocked when we checked that out. Then of course we have our windlass, remote control, emergency, winch handle right there, fresh water to wash down the chain when it comes up or to wash down the anchor. And then here's the kicker. There you go. So you just lift the whole anchor up and then, you know, twist it. Oh, I don't want to go the whole yeah, way now. Yeah, of course. But you kind of get the idea. And this is how it rests. It just allows for this totally slick bow. Pretty cool. Never seen it before. Really like that feature. Of course, we have this beautiful, massive bow. You can put some bin bags here. This is super cool. I mean, Imagine technically, you if you want to, you could put some custom layout cushions yeah, there. Yeah, of course. No, no problem. You can no totally do cushions. If you want to go for that look or if you want to use that space differently. And I also think it's interesting because, you know, these are not flush, but if you do put cushions here, it will actually look flush. Correct. So I think I would probably do that because it will just make it even more slick. Looking further after, yeah. we got the windshield, which is one windshield, no separations. And it's a curved windshield, looks amazing. I mean, look at the clearness of the windshield, it's fantastic. Just looking on top quick here, since we have that view, we have a sunroof, which we're gonna show from the interior. Yeah. But then also our radars up there, the mast, LED searchlight. Pretty cool looking mast actually, and slick navigation lights as well. And the KVH SAT TV dome up there as well. You just give everything away right away. Just give it away. I was gonna save the windshield, you know, for the oh. wow factor. Wow factor. Not the windshield, the sunroof. Sun, sunroof. Yeah. But you just, you know. Well, I got to see what I can get, right? And these two are more like a competition now. Apparently. <laughs> I didn't know it is. Okay, Let's come on in. Let's check out the interior. Yeah, check out the interior. Well, first of all, oh, coming wow. in here, I just wanted to tell you guys, this is one of those just beautiful finished teaks. It's awesome. sealed, right? Yeah, it has some kind of protection on oil it's on it. It's so soft. I absolutely love it. Palm Beach is a semi-custom brand and there are different ways you can change the layout. There's even an option to have galley down on this yacht and having one stateroom instead of two. Interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't personally do that, but I guess some people would. So, hey, at least it's available. Yeah, if you don't have to take guests with you, then maybe that's the way to go. <laughs> I guess. So we have a sink, of course, here. And can you just check it out? It's completely one piece. Yeah, it looks... It, there's the no seams, there's nothing. Fantastic. It's one piece, it just gets dropped in. The sink yeah. is attached, you will never have any dirt or anything here. Yeah, it looks amazing. So then we have our storage here. Some drawers. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Been for the knives already. Then, of course, we have a Mille microwave convection oven. Combo. Combo, yep. And then we have our fridge here. And also, the look at the front of the fridges. And the freezer. 
It is just gorgeous. Really beautifully What's done. underneath there? And another, it looks like another drawer. No. <gasps> Dishwasher. No. You gotta open things. <laughs> I would have just said it's a drawer and walked away and then somebody would have said, but it doesn't have a dishwasher. Thank you for making me open that. This is a perfect size drawer dishwasher. And of course a great countertop. I don't know what this is for, but there must be a reason for these here. No cooktop, which is probably was a choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can easily put a cooktop here. 100%. So I'm sure the owner, whoever ordered it, didn't want it for whatever reason. I mean, you have owners that take out the cooktops. Sure. Because they're like, I'd rather have a microwave. That's all I do on the boat. Yeah. Everyone's different, right? No judging here. We've got a little drawer and this whole sitting area and our end room compartment is here. So yeah, like technically it's two in one. So you have your day access, mm -hmm. which yeah, whatever you want just to check your oil in the morning. There you go. Just climb in there, check your oil, come back out, done. Or if you have some bigger maintenance to do or engine service, whatever it might be, you see these hinges right here on the floor. So this entire area where Victoria is standing right now. Including in all of these. So only these two cushions come off. They basically. have to be removed. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. This whole thing just lifts up. And you can do engine service. You can imagine what kind of access you get. Everything, ventilation, light, access, like the whole nine yards. Incredible. So this one is electric, lowering window here. And how about the glass around? Yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> really like, beautiful. Normally this would be like, you know, either a window or like, you know, a solid wall. Yeah. It's, it's all glass. Check this out. Like if you at the helm, right? And you're backing into your slip, there are no blind spots. Unless someone would stay in the way, but other than that, it's all open. We have a grab rail, which is yep. also beautifully finished. And then, okay, let's show this beautiful okay. feature. Okay, I would have to go to the helm for this. All Look, right. I'm matching another boat again. This just keeps happening to me. I had yep. no idea. So the sunroof, which is we're going to start with. You know, obviously you can open all the way, but between this window and that window opening all the way, and that window back there, you've got so much cross breeze. It's very nice. Yeah, that is amazing. And this concludes our tour of the helm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's switch. <laughs> All right. You know, you don't want me to start doing it. You will lose your job. I yeah. could do it. I've edited wanna, enough of no, your helm I tours. I just don't disappoint my fans. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I noticed immediately, yes. right? It's not really a standing helm. So, you know, obviously you have the roof here. So they raised the helm seat and the floor behind the helm or like, you know, next to the helm so far up that you have a perfect visibility like you would stand. Mm-hmm, yeah. I mean, immediately, like you, you sit down here, you're kind of like, oh yeah, like I'm in a perfect height. That is really cool. What I really like too, that there's two more seats on the port side. Yes. So if you do like, a, you know, two couple kind of cruising, like, you know, have a wine. You go for, you know, Bimini for a day or something, yeah. you know, it's a few it's, hours it's, of cruising. It's really nice. Yeah. You can actually hang out, have a conversation. It's air conditioned. You close it up. It's amazing. Or if it's raining, you just close it up and you just sit here and have a good time. All right, let's walk through the helm of the GT50. All the way to starboard here, we have the most important thing, two cup holders. A vent for the air condition, which is blowing out nice and cold air. We have a Garmin VHF radio. Then our Volvo Penta screen right here in front. Garmin multifunction display chart plotter right here. And then the typical switches, you know, we are horn, lights for the helm, anchor light, navigation lights, courtesy lights, etc. The remote for the sunroof and the aft, port and starboard electric windows. So you can open that easily from the helm. With the shift and throttle control of the Volvos here, windshield wiper control right here. We got our Garmin Autopilot unit right here. This year, the Humphrey trim tabs, and I'm not sure if they are actively working also as stabilizers, but I know the boat can be stabilized either with a gyro stabilizer or fins. Since it is an IPS driven boat, you have the joystick right here for easy docking, Volvo ignition and start stop buttons right there. It is also outfitted with a bow thruster side power unit, which, wow, I mean, that's a lot of uh, redundancy right there. I mean, you know, you already have the joystick you IPS. The joystick, yeah. You don't really need the side power unit, but hey, uh, you know, might as well have it. Fusion stereo and this dash is gorgeous, carbon fiber. And the seats are super comfortable. We gotta keep going. Don't just sit there. Can you just tell them that we? Um, I'm in front of the air conditioning vent. Stay here. It's my little spot okay. here. It's very let's keep nice. going. Let's check out the state rooms. Yes, let's do it. Oh, there's something here. Nice story. Yep. Okay, let's keep going down below. This is a two cabin, two head layout, but it's very interesting as well. This is our day head slash head for the guest cabin. Actually, pretty great size. Large room. Yeah. Then we have storage here. 
it's not a lot to open here, so we'll just show you guys. But I, have, I, have I like the setup of the sink here. A lot of boats have this top mounted, you know, on top of the countertop sinks. This is like half in, half on top. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So this was starboard, and on port here, we have our guest cabin which has a really large bed. Oh, I mean, let me, comfortably, let me. You, you can put your you know, legs there and everything. Oh yeah, that's amazing. And you have this porthole here, which mm -hmm. opens up to the cockpit. Pretty nice, I'll get some fresh air here. Again, Storage the here. just looks so beautiful. It is really beautifully done. Every time we see a boat that has beautiful like woodwork, we always remember that mm -hmm. because you know, it's not that common. And then the hanging locker right here. Yep. So then we're gonna go to the primary master stateroom here come all the way in the front this is a pretty low bed for all the way forward it really is i'm not sure how they achieved that but it's kind of admirable Must pretty be cool. part of the whole design and yeah um, yeah what was this that impressed you so much the whole finish here on this part and the curvature is perfect and then i asked if this is painted and i actually got confirmed it's gel coat very impressive work. I mean, it's so beautiful. You see a little bit of the reflection, how shiny it is, but in real, it looks just gorgeous. Very well done. So let's talk about storage real quick. We've mm -hmm. got this giant drawer. I a mean, TV? You have a TV right here. Oh, wait a minute, there's a TV right here. <laughs> this is your redundancy second TV. I'm kidding. Just in case. No, I'm kidding. For some people, that would be a must. Yeah. This TV here is actually from the salon area. And remember two of those little yep. holes that were so in the galley? I do. You just basically pull this out and you put it there. So it could just stay there. It doesn't mm -hmm. need to be put away. But for this kind of a slick design that they're going for, you can also put it away because like, we would probably never really watch it unless it's a movie night. Yeah. You know, like why would you want it there during the day? And Very of course, interesting. that was on the client's choice. Of course. There's so much more you can do. I mean, you can have probably a lift and everything if you needed to. But that's so any other cool. storage underneath? Yes, there are a couple drawers underneath oh, yeah. here. Right size. Storage all on outport forward there. And we have a hanging locker. Yep. A couple of drawers and this is probably also a storage compartment. Oh, so then we the have... The wood an, is like you want to touch it. It's right? so beautiful. Then we have an ensuite. Yes. So then we have an ensuite here. Head. Separate head. Again, with right? a beautiful teak floor. With some good light. We have a hatch up above for ventilation to open it up. And then we no have shower. a shower. And if you guys were paying attention, you also didn't see a shower for the other cabin, correct? True. So we only saw the day head. On our port, we have a really nice walk-in shower. Oh, wow, beautiful a... teak floors as well. Wow. I would almost feel bad showering over it. Right? I know it's made for it, but... Where's the drain? Oh, there, right, right in there, the corner. Yeah. And you know what? It's a little bit slanted. Well, has just, a, just a little bit, you know, that you don't see it. Huge mirror. This whole wall is... Oh, mirror. really? Yeah. Big mirror here. Somebody likes this to look gorgeous. at themselves when they shower. <laughs> and then what's the coolest thing about it is that it connected to our guest room here. Check it out. That is smart. So it's a shared shower. I think we have one boat on our channel, which we have seen that in. I believe so too. It's kind of interesting. So very cool resolution for obviously limited space on the setup of this yacht. They did a really good job. I think it's great because most of the time it's just going to be, you know, mostly two of you. Yeah. And if it's kids, very easy. If it's also, guests, you just share. Also like the skylight above you. Beautiful. Gets you the natural air and through the windshield. Yeah. But what is that behind you? You didn't even point that out earlier. Oh, I didn't see it. Miss Storage Compartment I was down specialist. there. And oh, snap. Look what we have there. Your snap. I get out of the way because my hat is really big today and my head. Awesome. Okay. So I was wondering actually when we were leaving the helm going down below i was like where's the switch panel i was like we got it right here so this boat is outfitted with a fisher panda generator get our battery switches right now here so, you know starboard and port side engines are turned off house bank is on we have our bilge pump switches right here and then our dc panel right here on top all the switches and then our high voltage panel here on the bottom cool location nicely tucked away i like it behind a beautiful wooden cover but <laughs> He jumped. He jumped. Wait, yeah, yeah. wait. I see hinges. So storage slash drawer here. Yeah. However you want to use it. Very cool here. Last but not least, the engine room. Yes, let's do it. Everyone's been waiting long enough. So there is a ladder that obviously you can have here and it's just not in there right now. So there's a, even an easier way to get in. But that was really easy. Oh, no, I see. Now yeah. you see? Okay, why don't you show no, everybody else? I see. All righty, guys. 
In the engine room of the GT50, we have the two Volvo APS 800s here. Got some batteries right in the center part here. Here you see the electric ram for the big engine hatch, which opens up. So if you would do an engine service, of course, you wouldn't do that in that position. Like As you can see, there's not too much space to work around. You could do it, but obviously it would be a lot more convenient opening up that big hatch and have full access. So that's what you would do, of course. So then we have here in the center part of the engine compartment, the sea strainers for the main engines, as well as the through holes, which are open, of course, right now. And then we see the shafts going all the way aft. Same over there. Ben engine management panel, a battery panel right there. Turning forward, <laughs> one thing to point out, you're gonna keep your engine room clean if you have a teak floor in your engine room. <laughs> we have our fire suppression system right here. Raycor filters for the main engines, the Raycor filter for the generator, which is sitting right there. Fisher Panda with a sound shield. If you wanted to go around here, there is actually decent access there. And there's also your hot water heater right there. And on the other side, we have our battery chargers, Victron inverter, and more batteries here on the outboard side right there. And then here is the salt water strainer for the air condition. And that's the engine room. Alrighty, you guys, this completes our tour of this Palm Beach GT50. I know you guys enjoyed this one. It's quite different from anything else we have on the channel. Yeah. So we thought it was super interesting. Love the quality of the build and the craftsmanship is absolutely beautiful. Put it down in the comments what you thought. Do some likes, some comments. You know, please subscribe. Please click the bell. That really, really makes a difference for us. And New video every single Saturday, so please make sure to subscribe. Check us out on the Patreon. Check us out on Instagram, both of us right here. And thank you to all of our amazing Patreons. Hello from Miami. Enjoy the outtakes. And enjoy the outtakes. Did we have any outtakes? We definitely had some really funny moments in this one. <laughs> all right. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Entertainment bar, galley area, we have a uh, Ooh, electric grill. Kenyan electric grill. Yes. Um, don't repeat everything I say. And a sink. Sink. Just kidding. Come on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Chainman comes up or wash washed down the anchor. And then here's the kicker. So you have this little head. So. <laughs> right. Pause. Pause and outtake. <laughs> Very slick. Super slick. Super slick. You have this little <laughs> rope with a handle, which falls down, of course, when you want to show it. It's really nice. And you can stick your window out on the side, actually. and uh, you know, Stick your window out of the side? <sighs> it's too warm today. <laughs> you can stick your head out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, so you come out of this. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, oh. I'm gonna stay there. All this working out, not working out by the quality of the build and the thought behind it. So, uh, <laughs> hi guys! <laughs> so, I think the lost my train of thought. People are saying hi. Okay, then do it again with a little bit of more energy. Okay. It was a little like, oh. What? Yeah, come on. Pep it up a little. Okay.